Hey, hey, Spring LaFay, Simply Tarot. Doing something a little different this morning. I just had a feeling to do. Uh, you know, normally I do like special messages or for the certain signs. Um, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Gemini, but it is going to be a little bit different. So, if you have Gemini in your birth chart, and maybe for you, all of these readings are not for everyone. They are general, so, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If it's not for you, just leave it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I'm yawning. So, I can go ahead and tell you there's been some healing, um, or there's some healing that's happening. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this reading is I'm going to pull a card for you, them, and the outcome. So, this may be someone that you're dealing with now, or you've dealt with in the past, or you're going to deal with in the future. So, first off, we're going to get a Romance Angel, because I feel like we're supposed to. For Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. May I please have one for Gemini, one for Gemini. One for Gemini. Too many. There it is. Right there it is. Tried to throw it and the other ones fell out. We have, you deserve love. You are lovable. And yes, you are. Maybe you thought you weren't, but you are. And the angels want to reinforce that. They want you to know that. That you deserve love and you are lovable. Maybe it's time to think about that. Okay, we're going to get at least one of these for Gemini. For Gemini. Okay, for Gemini. Please give me one for Gemini. For Gemini, please. For Gemini, please. Orphaned. Okay, maybe you felt like everyone has just left. They've just left. They, they've gone away. Maybe they have. Or maybe you just feel that way. You know. Some of you, maybe you were orphaned. Maybe you were, were, were orphaned as a child. That's going to be for someone. Then on the bottom, we've got observers. So, this tells me that, you know, it's like, it feels like you observe, you watch, you, you have been a watcher possibly all your life. For someone, um, I feel like you, you could be 49 years old. This is number 49. Um, also, I'm drawn to that nine. So, that I feel like there's something you've been observing for nine years, nine months, nine days. Something you've been intently watching. It may have to do with the moon. If you look how... The moon is up there. Maybe you have uh, started in um, charts, really looking, you know, the moon, where the moon's at, and all that kind of stuff. You know, something for someone may have happened when they were five years old that made them feel orphaned. Made them feel alone. And then for someone else, I feel like that um, there's definitely something to do with that number five. But you know, fives are also about change. So I feel like change is coming. It feels like this is uh, something that's having to be healed. Or you've been healing. <gasps> yep. Oh. I found out that when I yawn like this in these readings and I'm not really tired, that's healing. So someone's healing. You're healing. If, you know, this is you. Okay. Well, let's take one of these. Yes, they're reminding me. All right. Inspiration. May we have one for Gemini? For Gemini, please. Gemini, please. For Gemini. Okay, yes. I'm so proud of you. You know, <laughs> that's what I get from that. Um, keep up the good work. Okay, 
the universe is trying to tell you that they're very proud of you. But I also feel like that someone, someone has a child that may have um, some form of speech. You know, that could be one letter, could be two letters that they just can't get out correctly. But that child thinks the world of you. And this doesn't have to be your child. This could be a niece, a nephew, uh, but this child's very close to you. Uh, keep up the good work. So, you know, the universe is, is, I feel like God is trying to tell someone, you know, that they are very proud of what you've done in your life. And keep doing it. Keep going forward. Now. For Gemini. Now, please have the card for Gemini. There we go. The moon card. Okay. Now, please have the other person. Now, please have a card for who Gemini is dealing with. The person they are dealing with or going to be dealing with. Okay. Someone's put down some burdens. Now, please have the outcome, please. Let me get spirit tingles here. Yes. The outcome. Someone is walking away. They're walking away from a stressful, it feels like, um, something that's kept them really stressed out. Okay. I feel like um, with this moon card, is one thing is about seeing. It's about uh, being able to see clearly. Please clarify the moon. Please clarify the moon card. See? They clarified with the moon. This is about seeing clearly. Look, Four of Swords, about doing that work on oneself, about really thinking before lunging forward. So, Gemini, this tells me that you need to think really good before lunging forward towards this person because this person has been carrying a lot of burden. But, oh my goodness, see the yawning? There's healing going on here. You know, I feel like you've done a lot of healing and you're continuing to do so. And look on the bottom, star card. That is healing. Someone's healing and this needs to happen. Okay, we've got this person walking away from something that burdened them, possibly doing healing themselves, but they're, they're really walking away from something. Now, this could be walking away from you, but I don't feel like that's so for everyone. For some, of, for some, this could be them walking, going to be walking into your life. Because it feels like for some, this person has, you haven't met them. So they could be walking into your life. Literally, someone could walk into you or bump into you uh, somewhere. Maybe in a store or now I'm seeing books. This could be in a library. Um, I don't know if libraries are open. King of Swords. Gemini. See? Look. I want to show you. Oh, I'm getting spirit tingles. Look. He's holding the book. Okay, this could be in a library. This could be where books are. Bookstore. Something about books. And uh, this is you. You may be a business owner, but I feel like you're very intellectual. You're very uh, thinky. Think, think, you know, thought. But you could meet this person around books. Something to do with books. That's what I'm getting. Something to do with books. And it feels like this person's putting down the burden. See, this is carrying it. They're putting it down. So, they're moving away from something that's kept them burdened. And I feel like they're coming towards you. They're going to be coming towards you. This, Or they already have. So, that's what I have. I mean, you're going to have to figure this out for yourself. Um... I can see if they'll give me a little more. May we know more about the outcome. May we know more about the outcome. Hmm. I'm drawn to that bird. Please clarify the seven pentacles. Seven pentacles. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This person's ending something. Look. This person is ending something. Okay. Yeah, they definitely are. Okay, they're going to show me. Yeah, yeah. This person's 
they're walking, they've walked away or they're walking away from a marriage. Oh my goodness, this is so surreal. Okay, see this is new beginning. This person wants a new beginning with love. They want real love because they've been dealing with third party situations. Okay, they've been put in third party situation, feels like within a marriage. The marriage may have had money, may have happened for the wrong reasons. This is Ten of Pentacles. They may have got with this person for the wrong reason or the person with them. But it caused a lot of pain with that Ten of Swords. They have had to deal with a lot of pain. And I'll be honest with you, I feel like it has affected them, their health. This is someone that could possibly be pregnant. I have to put that up the, out there. Um, if you're not a female and you are a male, you may have a baby coming by someone. But that ain't going to be for everyone. You know, for many, it, it, this is about rebirthing. This is about opening your eyes and seeing what has happened and just putting it down. Moving forward. This is about moving forward. Ending a cycle, beginning a new one. For some, this is going to have to do with divorce. For others, this is going to have to do with some form of battle within the courts. It feels like could be custody, could be because of uh, material items but for some also this has nothing to do with court but it is just you know this is about justice this is about uh, karma basically that's what i'm getting <laughs> seven of swords oh my goodness delving into that creative side so okay this puts it a little bit more okay you may meet this person where there's art, where there's paintings, where there's murals, where there's art. I'm seeing buildings I'm, with art. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, oh, now I'm seeing walking on art. Now I'm seeing actual paintings. So this is for different people. Um, someone, okay, some of you may meet this person within a township or... A place where art is big. Art is major. And art could even be graffiti. That's what I'm getting. Um, for some of you, though, this could be within a um, museum. It's going to be different for different people. Overall, beautiful reading, though. If this isn't for you, just leave it. It's not going to be for everyone, but, yeah, it's going to be for many. So, yeah. Thank you for joining me. Have an awesome, awesome day. These readings, all of my readings are timeless. Remember that. Timeless. You can go back and watch them because they may hit you. They may have not hit you then. They may hit you now. They may show you something. Uh, if you feel led to watch something, a reading, watch it. There's something that could be in there for you. And I go by a lot of times just, oh my goodness, see, yawning for no reason healing. Someone has really done some healing. Um, many times I go by the title if I watch a reader. And lots of times I'll just be drawn to it. But, have an awesome, awesome morning. Bye.